Yeah, they look like they're ready. Hey, rock and roll. Looks good. Jeeps are knocking, don't come rocking something. If you're new to the project, a big warm welcome. And if you're a tough old root, then welcome back. Today, we're going to transport and install the chicken coop. So it's not perfect, but it's only got to make one trip, one time, going really slow. Uh, hey, a win for the Jeep here. Uh, you know, who knew you could put two chicken coops on top of a Jeep? Uh, I, well, I guess I did. Just making sure all the straps are really good and tight. And uh, I mean, this, this should be it. I mean, it's possible I might do one more strap, but basically one to sandwich them all together like a donut and two to go over the top. And you should be fine as long as you're going slow, which we will be. Uh, yeah, they look like they're ready. Hey, rock and roll. Looks good. Jeeps are knocking, don't come rocking something. Well, that may have been the longest ride of my life, but we're all here safe and sound, including the chickens. Uh, a lot of people got a real kick out of us driving what, whatever it was, many, many miles and, and several hours worth of travel time uh, because we could not go the speed limit. We were the slowest people on the road, but it doesn't matter if you get your mission accomplished. As you can tell, it's getting a bit dark. It's getting a little bit late. So the chickens are going to kip out tonight on top of the Jeep. We'll give them some food and some water. And first thing tomorrow morning, we'll attach them to our back porch. Well, it's morning here. We're starting to gather supplies and whatnot. It's me and Ivy today. Um, and I, I saw something that I just had to share. I had to cut on the camera for. I think it's really, really cool. Um, but it was something we were not expecting. I'm, I'm looking at Ivy like she's going to join in the conversation. Uh, more chickens, right? Chickens breeding chickens. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a drawing in of, of, of the flock. Um, there's a couple random chickens around here uh, that, that apparently came up just to say hey. Here are the chickens. What the chickens are doing, Papa? Thank <laughs> you. 
in order to put these where we where we really want them, I need to redo the roofs. Uh, that's going to be nothing more than just pulling the roofing back, cutting the wood under it, putting the roofing back, and then trimming it as well. Um, it's going to be kind of fiddly and, and not very exciting. Uh, so I'll probably go ahead and do that off camera. Uh, but we really just need to make the overhang quite a bit smaller so it can fit as flush as possible to the house and to the porch. So what I did was I grabbed two boards out of our scrap wood pile from the shed demolition. And I brought them over here and I just cut them in half. The exact measurement doesn't really matter. Um, I just wanted to make use of the entire board as to not have any leftover pieces. Now that we have done that, I went ahead and uh, pre-sunk a couple screws in each one and we're just going to scab it to the bottom of the back porch and make ourselves a rack with which we can set these chicken coops on. There we go. It doesn't look like much now, but you're really not supposed to see those, right? I mean, I think it's kind of like uh, 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 if you have a bland setting and you paint something bright, bright red. You know, it's kind of a uh, an illusional technique there. Once the chickens are in place, you'll never notice these ugly two by fours. Uh, all you're going to be thinking is, "Hey, one of them chickens doing attached to that porch." Well, making do, right? Porch is already here. Just begging to have some chickens screwed to it. Also help Luna get some company. Hey, do right, girl. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Hey, that looks even better than it did in my mind. So the thing to remember is that these are rabbit hutches. They were built as rabbit hutches. They were designed as rabbit hutches. I've just got chicken, chickens in them right now. Uh, every time I think I have the ability to make a real chicken coop, like a, like a, like a big one, uh, something else takes priority, like moving, childbirth, you name it. But at some point, there will be rabbits in this hutch and chickens elsewhere.
you got to make do with what with what you have, right? I built Rabbit Hutches first. I didn't know we was going to get chicken. So the last thing to do, at least for today, everything we always do is sectional. Accomplish what you can, when you can, and make the thing better later. Uh, at least in theory. I mean, they're still in rabbit hutches, but they are at least on site. I'm no longer having to drive, uh, whatever it is, two and a half hours to go to go feed them every three days. So that's a rock and roll deal for me. Uh, but either way, just uh, attaching the the boxes to the the rack so that you know the wind or whatever or if a coon climbs climbs on it, it doesn't push the actual cages themselves off. We don't have to hold down you know some kind of giant mountain here. We just need to to make it difficult to move. That's it. Now we are completely done with what we're going to do today. Uh, go ahead and give them some food, give them some water, and see what Celia thinks. So what did you think first of the drive here? Um, it was interesting. We were definitely going very slow. And I think the funniest part was Josh kind of hiding his eyes from all the people passing by and gawking. <laughs> it was awkward. It was definitely awkward. Um, but, you know, you, you do what you, what you got to, right? Yep. Um, we actually have a trailer, right? And we have like an off-road trailer. It's really tall. It's small. I, I built it for my car, uh, but the Jeep doesn't have a hitch. Right, so it, it was kind of that kind of made it more more awkward for me because I knew I had something that that could do it legitimately and unweirdly, but here we are doing it, you know, the redneck way. <laughs> so, but either way, it worked. Right, yeah. chicken seemed fine. We were we were fine. Everybody everybody that passed us seemed very excited about it. <laughs> there was a lot of emotion. Right, you would have thought we were in a parade or something. Children are pointing, people are screaming. There's a, there's a, there was a couple, you know, uppity yuppies that were just kind of. Shaking their head, <laughs> you know, because I was I was actually watching, you know, I was trying to, I was trying not not to look, but every time I glance over, you know, oh, he saw me. We got some chickens on the roof. What? <laughs> yeah, come on now. Ain't you ever been to the country before? All right, so we've got the chickens home. The drive was crazy, but they're here. They're then they're in place. I had told Celia I was going to put them here. She didn't really seem to have an opinion at that point. But now that you've seen it, what do you think? I think it looks really cool. So I was picturing it being a lot more like up and like in your face, but it, it looks like it kind of blends in and just adds some country. You don't see anything, <laughs> you know, right? The Jedi thing. So all right, so uh, uh, there we go. The thing is, the thing is done. Uh, rooftop chickens, back porch chickens, whatever we end up calling this. Um, if you like what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the project, hit that other button. Help support the project. There are links below. Until next time, here, Steve in the woods. <laughs> All right, tell the camera. What do you think? What do you think I of chickens? I don't know why you're getting another. Is that what you think? Yeah, yeah. There's a bear and she's a lion and she's doing. No, get in mind she's doing a hatcher, so she lives on the roof, and so she is staying up there. Oh, <laughs> Got your theatrics. <laughs> <laughs> Fun times here at Steve in the Woods.